Hey, hey, everybody! I'm Steve Crid. This is part of our, this evening is, that we've been looking so forward to as part of our Guitar Gathering Conference, which many, most people here are from our Guitar Gathering Conference, but we do have a lot of uh, visitors with us, so welcome. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic night. I don't want to clutter it up with too many uh, announcements, so uh, I'll let the guys introduce themselves as we get going. And would you please, please welcome the Blues Council. <laughs>
see? What do you see? Do you see your angels? Do you see me? Look up, say, what do you see? Well, what do you see? Ooh, the sun starts ringing. Just 
so thankful to Steve and everybody for having Blue's Council. And, uh, so this next song I need to set up because otherwise you're going to be either ready to kill me or um, most people are just not sure. So I got this sister back at home, Judy's her name. Judy's 47 because I'm, well she's about to turn 48. But when she was about 10, I think I was 11, 12, she, I talked Judy into taking the other end of a short rope one day in the front yard. And uh, I started spinning little skinny Judy around and around, and her feet come completely up off the ground. And I did what any good brother would do. <laughs> I let go of the rope. And Judy crashed and burned and started smoking shortly after that. The girl would put a pack of cigarettes. In fact, she walks around with one in each hand, y'all. When she's walking around. She's about dead. I mean, really pray for Judy. That's what this song's about, really. But Judy loves this song. I'm going to do a song for you called Dang Judy, You've Got to Stop Smoking. <laughs> Thank you. 
See, I told you, you're not sure what to do with that song. It's too hard. I'm quite ready for that. And neither was I. I grew up down in North Mississippi. Got a lot of few friends here tonight from this teacher right there. And um, my little Pentecostal mother, God bless her. Love moms, right? See, where I'm from, y'all, everything's a sin except loving your mother. <laughs> So I couldn't, couldn't go to the movies, couldn't go skate rink, couldn't you know go to the swimming pool. I mean, we just couldn't do anything. And um, so I, I, I did ride a, ride, a, ride a lawnmower quite a bit when I was a kid. And uh, but it had a certain little clang to the engine, and it just like had this thing, you know, it has just driving. I guess it needed some oil or something. You know? Anyhow, I wrote this song to the clang of the lawnmower one day. And I'm not sure, my mom don't like the way I tell these Bible stories. We'll see what you guys think.
see is what went wrong. That regret it only brings you down. So you can't let that. Let it hang around. I knew then what I know. I'll just be ready. <laughs> it's insanity. They're going to name a planet after him one day. Planet KD. <laughs> so I'm going to take you back down south. Can I do one more song down south? You okay? All right. One of the great uh, friends of ours, Lenny LeBlanc, helped me write this song. Do you know that? Lenny helped me write Salvation's Come Today. Uh, I was like, just to tell you a little bit about Lenny. Lenny, you know, I was like, I think 17 maybe? About that age when I was a real, you know. Uh, and Lenny took me under his wing one, one day to say, hey, you know, why don't you come over to the studio? We had a studio out in the country at Muscle Shows. And he produced four songs for me, he didn't charge me a dime. I should have paid him double. I sang one day, in fact, it might have been this song that I sang for seven hours. Yo, seven hours he made me sing. And then we came back the next morning and he made me sing it again. So maybe I won't torture you like that today. It's called Salvation's Coming Today, but I need somebody to help me out. I need a choir. Y'all gonna help me out? Yeah! Mm -hmm. You gotta give me a hum. Ready? Mm -hmm. Sing it, glory, hallelujah. Jesus washed well, my sin away. Y'all ready? Here we go. Sing it. way we do it down in the south, y'all. Salvation has come today. <laughs> y'all got that? Thank you. 
And uh, coming up very soon, we're going to take a very short intermission. Let Phil get up here and get situated for a solo set. Phil's got product out there. We've got our four records and a couple other things and one we did with Phil. So go out and just have a little moment, 10 minutes, and we'll be ready for part two. Thank you, Steve, for inviting us to a part of the room. Well, I've got about a 20 minute set, then I'm going to play one of my songs with the band, with Blues Council, one of my favorite bands of all time. Really wonderful. So, this little tune here called Shades of Green, uh, with limited gear. It's okay, it took me long enough to set it up as it was, you know, and as it is. And as it shall be, <laughs> until I tear it down. <laughs> fourth string and the B string is, you know, free to the fifth fret, so it's just a, just a little thing I came up with, and nothing's totally original in my world. Somebody good and talented influenced me. So. It's actually a standard tuning E drop to D, so... Shades green. I call this go. <laughs> Did you have subs out there too, Chris?
five minutes, six minutes went by. Can I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that? And uh, I'd like to dedicate this one to my friend Jerry, Jerry Bryant, and your Full Circle Show. Um, I wrote a song back in 1975 for a gal named Nedra Ross, who was one of the Ronettes. Be my, be my, be my little baby. That song. And, uh, and so I wrote it for her. Uh, she's a lovely Christian lady. And, uh, her husband um, invited me to help out with the album that she made. So I wrote that song, but then I, I did my own version when I was a little boy in 1981. When I was 30. <laughs> I was a little boy when I was 30. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of that for you, Jared. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> Thank you. 
wife wants me to get a new pedal board. <laughs> good news, this Jesus uh, that has affected and touched so many of our lives and stayed so faithful and true to us throughout all these years. I uh, became a Christian in 1970, started playing guitar in 1961, learned how to tune it in 1962, <laughs> wrote my first song called Surfer Joe in 63, learned Miserloo and Surf Beat about that time too, and, um, and then I also played Moondog at a talent show when I was in the seventh grade. That was really an experience. But it uh, did real good. Um, wow, I just, uh, in all the years, and then bands in high school and all that, and then met with my buddies, and we formed a three-piece band called Glass Harp. And I, I still think we were pretty good, not really mature, but we were, that we were pretty, you know, uh, high-spirited and full of adventure, you know. We just, Kind of went for it, didn't know what we were doing. It's like popcorn when it's being popped, you know. And uh, <laughs> so, anyway, what else? Uh, I'm a little bit because uh, I'm on medication. I just got a thing called shingles, and I'm sure glad I'm not a left handed guitar player because my, my strap would be on the other side. And, that would not be good news, but it's good news for modern cavemen tonight. And, uh, so I'm glad about that. So I'm gonna do another one where I can just jam out a little bit. It's called Salvation Army Band. You know what? Um, I left my jam man at home, the one that Chet Atkins taught me how to use. Um, and uh, so I'll just bring the little guy. 
You know, he got a lot of growing up to do, Tom. <laughs> just every time I punch it, I think I cleared the thing. It's not. It comes back to haunt me. My favorite guitar players in the world are those who don't plug into anything. Uh, I like plugging into things in the studio. Live, I just want to sing one a day. about your equipment. <laughs> it's just like, it's all gotten old like I have. <laughs> Even my son came over and he said, Pops, we gotta have a talk. What about the punch board? I don't blame him.
the band and I jump and I'll try to play you and have as good as possible. <laughs> Thanks for listening everybody and God bless you. Shelly for joining us tonight in the group. He, he drove me here. And by the way, he has some amazing records out. He's got a new one that he tipped his hat to some jazz standards on, and I don't even know what he's doing. And Steve Krenz is joining us as well. Thank you. 
school. Best dedicated to all you guys born in the 50s and 60s. <laughs> this is uh, it's an old lick that I learned back in the day when I was sitting in with some amazing blues artist, and it's sort of a little bit of a, a redemption. I think the original lyrics were Dive and Duck Blues, but... Uh, but I got the lyrics from Ezekiel, so uh, just sort of mixing things together.
question. That was an interesting conversation we just had there, Phil. The only thing missing was the, was that teacher from Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, that one. You know, I got to play on the track on Muppets in Space. Oh, no, I'm yeah, that was finally all the eight-year-olds at church finally respected me. Sunday morning to you. I learned this song actually when I was 17, uh, and of course I ended up in Bonnie's band, and she was taught by Mississippi Fred McDowell, and, and uh, he was an amazing guy, uh, Fred McDowell, and uh, he did this song, and of course I wouldn't believe her at all. But he just went. Pretty low action on this new Stradamon. Yeah. 
and then good old gospel four chords. Yes,
Council. We sure love you guys. We appreciate it so much. I know Steve's got a few things to say. We're going to be out there. We've got a lot of this music you can take home with you if you want to. Again, God bless all of you. We do this for one reason, and that is to bless God and bless one another.